Whoa! Hmm. Okay, no more playing around. Let's go. key is, is that um, people will argue with you about whether it should be salt pork or should be bacon. And uh, so either or, whatever you particularly like. We then begin with onion and believe it or not, a little carrot, the traditional maripois, and celery. We're going to start now with the vegetables. Maybe a couple bay leaves. Certainly we're going to start the first foundation with a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper, and we're going to get this going here. And uh, once that begins to happen, we're, we're basically now going to evaluate how much baking drippings are in there. And after about eight or ten minutes and the vegetables begin to start cooking and we extract in the first flavor of that foundation, then we're, gonna, then we're simply going to add flour to make a root, which is obviously going to be the thickening, whole thickening bit here. So we don't have any drippings right now, nor do we have any prosciutto bianco. So we're going to have to just settle for a little olive oil in here to even up the, the fat category. All right, now, oh, we're sizzling. So we want to cook the roux four or five minutes. We're going to put in this wonderful stock. Now, as you know, it will never be at its full thickening power until it comes to a boil. We're going to add the potatoes. Oh, yes. And that starch is really going to help us out as well. I thought about it this morning and said maybe some sweet corn would be good. Here, just to kind of sweeten it up a little bit. For me, maybe a little hot sauce. Let it cook in there. A little bit of that what's in here sauce. Matter of fact, I wouldn't be doing New Orleans justice if I didn't add a little cayenne. And the potatoes. When they start getting fork tender, you don't really want them to get all mashed up. Are they fork tender? I don't know. All right. Yes, they're fork tender. So now, is it cream or no cream? Is it clams or no clams? Is it parsley? Yes. 